are looking live at Lake Tahoe. The lake looks gorgeous tonight, but a closer look shows this huge body of water is not immune to our drought. This week's hot weather, not good news for the drought because the lakes and reservoirs are likely to drop even faster. Yeah, the effects of low water are now being felt even at Lake Tahoe. And KCRA3's David Beenick shows us how much Tahoe has fallen and how much further it could go. Yeah, because uh, Lake Tahoe is so big, the level moves up and down a lot more slowly than lakes like Folsom and Shasta. But now Tahoe is already at its lowest level in four years, and it's still headed down. Wide sandy beaches now line much of Lake Tahoe's south shore, and boaters must carefully maneuver to avoid rocks and sandbars. This traditionally would have four or five feet in this space right here. Dan Moore with the Tahoe Keys Property Owners Association says the drought and shifting sands have nearly choked off the channel that leads to hundreds of private boat docks here. Some bigger boats, he says, have been bottled up all summer long. If, if a, you've got a sailboat that's drawn more than four and a half feet, then it's a challenge for them. So it means that they're not going in and out, and, and it's been you know, almost no sailing season for the bigger sailboats and stuff. Now, Tahoe Keys wants to dredge the channel and dump tons of sand on a nearby beach. Federal regulators have yet to sign off on the dredging, though, over concerns about things like Lake Tahoe trout. Depending on the methods used, they can be sucked up by a suction dredge, uh, and they can be chopped up by other type of dredging processes. Last month, the Tahoe Queen paddle boat became stuck on a sandbar near the south shore, and recently so did this barge. And by the end of this month, Tahoe is expected to drop so low, it stops emptying into the Truckee River. Even after the Truckee River stops flowing, Lake Tahoe will continue going down because of underground water seepage and evaporation off the surface. Even Lake Tahoe is looking more like a reservoir. In November of 1992, Tahoe dropped to its lowest level on record. Right now, it's about three feet above that level, but still falling. So, how low will Tahoe go? Could the 92 record be broken? Definitely headed into one of the lowest years on record, um, but thankfully at this point, significantly far away from that record low. So, likely no record broken at Tahoe this year, but the water managers say if we get another dry winter, we'll certainly be within striking distance come this time next year. It's amazing to see those pictures from 20 plus yeah. years ago. So, not even the Coast Guard's immune from this problem. Yeah, take a look at this picture. We just got in from the Tahoe City uh, U.S. Coast Guard station. That's the pier, the dock oh, they wow. use for their boat. Look at how many of the uh, piers are out of the water. So many that they haven't been able to use this pier for quite some time. They're using another boat dock. Uh, a short distance away, but they said that, they say that does add some critical time when they're uh, responding to an emergency out on the lake. We're so used to seeing that picture that we show of Folsom Lake, but to see Tahoe, you know, like you said, it's not immune. So. The effects are smaller, but over a big area. Yeah. All right, David. Thanks.